Okay, so this is Miss Fitzgerald, and I noticed that in our study guide there was a bunch of us who were confused about the difference between symbols and units, so I wanted to make this video to sort of clarify what the difference between those two are. So let's start with a unit that we're very familiar with, which is velocity. Velocity is our physical quantity, right? It's a measure of how quickly something is moving. And we all know the symbol for velocity is V, a lowercase v. The unit for velocity would be meters per second, okay? So we notice meters per second, that's the unit. That is what you're measuring in. And the symbol is just a way to write it in shorthand so that you can use it for equations, okay? So now let's look at the key terms that we're using in our circuits unit here. So our first one is charge. The symbol for charge is Q, okay? If it's an individual small charge, they usually use a lowercase Q. If it is a source charge, they usually use a uppercase Q, okay? The unit for charge is the Coulomb. And we abbreviate the Coulomb with the letter C. The second one will be time. Time, we already know. We write our symbol for time is a lowercase t. And the unit for time is the second, which of course we abbreviate s. Next is resistance. So resistance is how much an object resists the flow of electrons through it. Okay, so the symbol for resistance that you would see in an equation would be a capital R. But the unit for resistance, what it's measured in, is ohms. And ohms is actually abbreviated with this Greek letter omega, which looks like that, okay? Resistivity is a little different from resistance. So resistivity is a measure of how much a material can resist the flow of electrons. So if you had a copper wire, all copper wires have the same resistivity. They resist electrons the same amount. But depending on the length of the wire and the cross-sectional area of the wire, they might have different resistances. Okay, so resistivity is a measurement of that property for that particular material. And the symbol for this is the Greek letter rho. So it sort of looks like the letter P, but it's actually a Greek letter rho. And the unit for resistivity is ohm meters. And if we want to rate that in symbol, is that omega times m. Length, we know what length is. It's how long something is. The symbol for length is a lowercase l. I usually write it in cursive, so it's clear that it is not an i. And the unit for length is meters. We abbreviate that with the letter m. Cross-sectional area, the symbol is a. And we know area. You've done this in math, right? Length times width. So that's going to be a meters times another meters. So our unit is meters squared. And we're gonna abbreviate that M to the power of two. Power, we knew this from our energy units. Power is going to be um, the rate at which work is done. The symbol for power is a capital P. Notice that that is different from the row here in resistivity. And that power is measured in units of watts we abbreviate with a capital W. Current, the symbol for current is I. Current is that flow of charge through an object. Okay, so we use a capital I for the symbol. That's what you're going to see in equations. But the unit for current is actually the amp. And we abbreviate that with an A. Now we have potential, which is also called voltage. Potential is a measure of the electric potential energy of a particular charge and we use the symbol capital V. Notice that is different from lowercase v in velocity, okay? And the unit for potential or voltage is the volt, which we abbreviate V as well. So in this case, the symbol and the unit are the same, but that is not the case for most of these. Now, potential difference is very similar to potential. It's just if you had a circuit, if you look at two different places in that circuit and you subtract their potentials, you get your potential difference. And we should, we should remember that delta means change. So change in potential or potential difference. So we have delta V. And if you subtract two volts, you're still going to get volts. So the unit for potential difference is volts. 
All right, so I hope that cleared up a little bit what the difference between symbols and units are. Um, I miss you guys. Have a wonderful day.